about to leave. <laughs> This video is a bit random in pieces or whatever. We're just filming random shit, really. We're throwing a couple of abandoned cells. Like, four abandoned buildings there. And this is very far from where we are. But yeah, I think the people living in it. In fact, there's definitely people living in it. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, curtains and stuff. It smells like piss, so I think homeless people live here. Bro, not at this one in a while. I got a fucking temperature warning on my phone. It must have been in my bag outside and it got too hot, so there's only one solution to this shit. Put that motherfucker in the fridge! Down in Ishmaelar again today. A beautiful beach. Elton Joe in the sea over there, if you can see him. Hey, this is the life. <laughs> This is. If anyone knows what this is in the comments, please let us know. But we whacked it and it's beheaded. It looks like it's got a stinger. It's not like a fucking wasp or any filler. I, I don't know what it is. Right, so we're in a pretty cool hotel in Turkey. We're about to have a game of pool, but we know it's a little issue. I mean, you know what? I'll give it a good go. Got one. This is live reaction to bak baklava. It was 40 lira. I don't know how much that is in pounds. Probably fuck all. Mmm. I find you. It's pretty good. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's pretty good. As we all know, there's a little trick. If you have the egg in the palm of your hand and you hold and squeeze, it, it doesn't explode. But this egg is a little bit smaller than your average egg. It doesn't look too bad on camera. But I think that's a massive Wait, egg. fucking hell, that's, a tiny, that's another tiny fucking egg. Right. So there's your fucking difference. That, that, that is, this is a lot smaller, isn't it? It's a little baby egg. I think that's a massive egg. So we want to see if it fucking explodes like fuck or if it's hard to crack. Oh, oh you dick. Bro. Oh, no. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Alright, we'll go cream that. that. I did not expect that to do that. Alright, thank fuck they use enamel paint. Make sure if you ever get a house, you use paint that fucking shit cannot stick to because it's just the best fucking way, isn't it? Thankfully God's alright with me. The wall's not not stained. Thank Allah. So we found some finally. We found some proper markets. We're not gonna do any shopping in here today. We found it for later afterwards. I think this is here where you'll get the cheap, cheap price. Yeah, if you can see that, that is a fucking blister on top of a blister. I've been averaging, no joke, about 30k steps a day. Bro, to say we've been doing a bit of walking is a little bit of fucking understatement. I don't know how we're doing this each day. But, you know, this is like today, it's like fucking, you know, one in the morning pretty much. Right, so we're getting three for again tonight, and here's what's left of the Captain. Here's what's left of the Captain Frozen Morgan. And Are you ready for Captain Milk? Captain Milk. But we decided that oh, the, oh. the M in Morgan must stand for milk. And there's two glasses there. 
And there's a bit of milk. You know this motherfucker's meant to be a bartender? Yeah, I ain't got my fucking jiggers. <laughs> You fucking what? Jiggers. That's what you call them, jiggers. We've got scuba diving at 9 o'clock in the morning, by the way. And this is our way to celebrate um, winning this quarter... Was it even quarters? Quarters. Quarter finals of the Euros. Wait, 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 what's the time? 20 to 1. Yeah, but that's what, that's what we need, isn't it? Captain Milk. Wow, that's sweet, mate. That was disgusting. That was absolutely... That was amazing. That was outrighteously foul. If you're looking to drink, just drink... Drink Captain Milk. Drink the Captain Morgans by itself. Don't have the fucking milk. Go on. Just dash the fucking bottle. And the floor's there. We'll clean it up. You're hearing this guy, get we we fucking win the semi-final of the Euros and you won't even dash I don't give ball. a shit. Here's the top of the boat. A load of islands and everything. For 25 quid man, I I don't know. Shit you can get in Turkey man, your money goes so much further. And if you're wondering about the sudden absence of L's, we're kinda wondering the same thing. The last thing we got from him, we got a message about I think it was like either two or three in the morning, he just randomly disappeared. And he said his phone was on 1% and he had no water. So he could be stuck to a cactus or something like that. Um, we are going to try shouting auto glass repair. Auto glass replace. And we might find him that way, but if not, I don't know. It's not, we're not going to let it ruin our holiday though. <laughs> Here's some of the other scuba divers. We should have the footage of us swimming then. Fucking, there was a point in the water where um, I was swimming and what's it called? I, I, as I say, you're under the water, you, they can't tell you anything. I didn't really know what to do. So I just kind of swam off and, and then fucking Joe stood in the middle of the ocean just waiting for me and the guy swims over and gets me. I pray that's on camera, but I, I didn't, I don't know. It was pretty funny. I just swam off and got into my own little world. Joe's literally just stood in the ocean like that. <laughs> small sandwich because we can't eat too much food before we swim bro that's like a whole fucking that's a whole loaf of bread in turkey the ice cream man comes to you out in the middle of the ocean because they just build different out there bro we full found it this is like as close to a hitler cat as you can get the mustache is a little bit off the hair's not really going on but it's a hitler cat in turkey who would have thought Sugar addict has to eat his omelette. We have wafers and then chocolate balls. Is it good? Why is that good? <laughs> <laughs> Crack the code there. Today we're going to a place called Tumrik. We've heard it's the cheapest markets of all. You have to get a boat out there. So we're really hoping it's worth the money. Mate, this is way more like it. Football top, three for ten pounds, five for ten last season. I don't know if I'll film everywhere in the market because they might, they might think I've got more money than I actually do, but I'll show you what we get from this place. This is fucking way more like it. Without a doubt, I'm going to have to try the Turkish Viagra. This is before and after. Uh, everyone was claiming it was a lot cheaper than Marmaris and Ishmaela. 
I wouldn't say it really was, to be fair. I mean, uh, the first thing we saw, it was like, um, what was it? Free for whatever. Um, the five pound for the football shirts. It meant the old ones, not the new ones. Um, we'd got four football shirts for 30 in the end, like four England kits. So it really wasn't that good in price, but it was pretty nice down there. Forgot to mention the most important thing. I got this fucking Turkish Viagra shit. Look, he's got a little cock on him. I got a little one, this one was five pounds which I was annoyed about at first. The guy comes with a cock on him. But look, you get the fucking big one for less money from the fucking proper shop. Bruh, I best, best believe I'm gonna leave reviewing this shit though. I've got an absolute deal on this towel. How much was the towel? Like five pound. That's actually fire. Look oh, at that. OG that, Fortnite. It is really P good PVA Fortnite. Me and Joe have just gone to shop and we bought this. We don't know what it is, it looks like someone's it's took a- It's a sausage and nuts. It's, it's- someone's took a fucking shit and put it in cling wrap. But we're gonna fucking eat it anyway. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, why does it smell like that? Smell it. It why? smells fucking fermented. Oh, it smells like beer. If, it, if it's got beer in it, I'll eat it. <laughs> I really don't know what that tastes like. It just tastes like fucking nothing. A bit fucking shitty. Yo, it looks like fucking shite. <laughs> I don't ever want to eat that. <laughs> Mashallah, today we're on yet another boat trip. So, we're gonna let you know how this one goes. We're not even left yet, but hopefully this one should be good. Random as fuck quag, uh, segment, but this shit's been bothering me for ages. You see all this shit, like all the people are like, free Palestine, all this bollocks, like, acting like they give a fuck. Um, you'll see him talking like, free Palestine, all this shit, but they're the same people who order shit from Sheen. And we know damn well the kids are getting whipped like fuck ordering off Sheen. I, I don't know why people have always got to like, have this act that they're a good person when they're really not. Just drop the fucking act, bro, no one fucking cares. Like, damn well, I, I order half my shit from fucking Timo. I know damn well the kids getting whipped like fuck to make my Rick and Morty meth pie, but you know, I'm paying the fucking wages that's the way I see it I just wish people would drop the fucking good person act all the time everyone's always trying to outdo each other and it's just bullshit bro people need to start being real we've just stopped I'm guessing we can swim let's clap for the gentleman he's gonna jump first <laughs> 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 flip thinking about it now I didn't even film the last spot I just filmed me jumping off Seven spots to go to today. Come on, boss. Oh, fucking hell. I just got it. Yeah, it's seen. Reese is contemplating jumping from this big You know, sometimes life, you're smoking, you're smoking cigars on Diddy's yacht. Sometimes that's all life is, smoking cigars on Diddy's yacht in San Tropez. There was more to the trip, but the boat's crashed. Oh, he's crashing into Diddy's yacht. 
times oh, worse. It's not it's not that bad in person, I promise you. Bad. It's bad, but it's nowhere near We're as bad as the camera makes up. We're drinking, getting ready for the Euros, England! <laughs> and we're drinking the Captain Morgans. Now, we're realising, if you look back on my uh, how, how to catch and cook a crayfish video, I think it was, was it the first one? The first how to catch and cook crayfish. Are you sure? Well, the second uh, catch and cook crayfish video, I drink a whole fucking bottle of Captain Morgan's to myself, pretty much. And we're struggling to have, like, little bits of it now, so you know what? I've been thinking, if you want me to get better at drinking, the only thing you got to do is watch these videos, and I'll be able to fund my drinking, like, and I'll get, I'll get way better. I'll be drinking two bottles of these, and I'll be way more entertaining, but right now, we're just getting ready for the Euros, mate. <laughs> About 10 fucking seconds after I filmed that clip, Spain scored. Right Gonna need about four now. Time for another one. Ten more fucking fish, bro! Right, so England just lost the fucking Euros. Let me show England how to fucking do a slide tackle. England, it's not that hard. This is a slide tackle. Bam! It was not a slide tackle. Hold on, hold on. So there's your player. Yeah, you go. Bam! And that's how you do a slide tackle. Then you get the ball and you pass it to someone else. He's alright. Remember, there was a blister on my foot or whatever. It's still pretty fucking bad. Don't get me wrong. But apparently, if you just don't give in and keep walking like 20,000 steps every day, this is how fast you heal. Like, that's the skin underneath and it's completely fine. Just don't listen to your body. If you're in pain, just push through and then you'll be chilling. Like, it doesn't even hurt to walk anymore. And if this video seems like it's just random clips of shit that we've been doing, that's because I don't, I don't like to give you just what you've asked for. This video, yeah, is a review on the cheapest hotel in Turkey, but you always get more than you bargain for with me. Um, I don't know if this is one video or multiple parts or whatever, but... So far, we've been way worse than any of the reviews in the hotel. The hotel they said the hotel staff are stealing and doing all that shit. We've not experienced any of it. We've got four days left, so that's all subject to change. They could fucking rob us like blind. You never know, but up to now, we've been fucking awful. We've fucked up the room, done fucking all sorts of fuck shit. And um, yeah, no, nah, they've been chilling with us. We're, we're going to leave this photo upside down and see how long we will the whole time we put that outside down and we've not noticed, so I think we'll just leave it like that. We've done really well with the alcohol. We finished the first one in like two seconds. We've had a few fish bowls and everything, but we've not actually drank that much. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. And if we have to drink it... We need to drink it. We need, oh, we've got four days sake. left. Oh, fucking God's no, sake. Come on. Why, why am I have to we're drink? We're going to have to drink. If you're ever feeling bad about drinking, always remember, it's always happy hour somewhere in the world. So just... Never let, it get, never let it get to you, because look, look at that frozen bottle of Morgans. Everyone wants that first thing in the morning. Don't abuse it, love it. Ooh, that went down really nice, actually. I to get freaky. Oh, coming to these countries too, do not fuck about, put the sun cream on, Joe, put his sun cream on, that's how bad his shoulder is. Going to you don't want to play in these countries, 35 degrees is not the weather that you play around with. Wait, stand, stand over there, look over there. Look, we've got outstanding citizen at the back, resisting arrest at the front. Yeah. Yeah. 
We might have just found a cheat code. So basically, we're in Marmaris Markets, and normally everywhere you get haggled to fuck. But since I put this fez hat on, no one's bothered me. So maybe it's against their religion to like come up to you if you wear a fez hat. So a little cheat code. Don't want to get haggled. Wear a fucking fez. My theory was correct as well, I'm not sure why, when we had the fez hats on they didn't bother us at all The minute Joe fucking said, take it off, I think they're giving us weird looks no. They haggled us like fuck Right, this motherfucker, right, he walks past the guy and he goes Yeah, fucking bro, they think I'm the Emperor of Turkey, that's why, they were jealous of me So yeah, if you don't want to get haggled, wear a fez hat I don't think there'll be any repercussions, you just won't get haggled, so yeah, fucking do it. Bro, I have no idea. You've got Davy Jones, who actually looks like Davy Jones. And you've got another Davy Jones, who looks like Downey Jones. How the fuck do you get one so, like, perfect and then fuck up the other? And then, I don't know what the fuck they've done to Medusa. This is the place, we've had to come back twice. This is by far the best value for money. Best kebab every place. Seven pound, you get pudding dessert. Fucking chicken in your chips. Big ass kebab. What, what more could you want? Jalapenos. From here, it's in Ishmael. I don't think I can show the value enough. These are three massive ass pieces of chicken. Look at the juice in that kebab, bro. It's got everything you want. You get a pudding. If you want to come here, it's right next to the Mr. Chief and Ishmael in Florida as well. Joe, what are your thoughts on this? Show them a, show them a quick rundown. Put a jalapeno on there, show them what it's all about, bro. This is what you gotta do if you eat it. You gotta put a jalapeno on this motherfucker. I forgot to mention the hotel's best feature. The Wi Fi is just. Stella. You try and connect, you just get constant, the incorrect password, but this is like the only network that you're allowed on. And it, it, it'll just do this about, I don't know, 30 times a day. We're doing fucking quad biking today, let's go. We're gonna try and film a little bit, but apparently we're gonna get muddy as fuck, so we'll see how that goes. If I can't film, I can't film. Hopefully I can. I really hope you can film some shit, but I really don't think I'll be able to. So you're just gonna, I'm just gonna get to see the bikes. You're thinking of doing like um, the quad biking or whatever with um, like the people for like, the, what's it called? Jeep Safari, something like that. If you're thinking of doing like the quad bike safari, don't bother, bro. They fucking. If you like being stood behind a grandma in traffic about fucking two miles per hour, then do it. But if you don't like that, then don't. Me and Joe, we only had fun at the end because we started fucking around and got a red card and then went like fucking million miles per hour. But the whole time. You go slow as fuck. Save, save your money. Do not come here. Like they say a lot. They say a bit of so far. They, they say a bit of adrenaline. They're not fucking joking. You get about two minutes worth of adrenaline. Save your money. Do not do this. Unless you plan on getting a red car, then it's pretty fun. Yeah, I was, I was as I was saying before. Don't waste your money on the quad bike. And if you want to get a quad bike, I'd just rent one and go up and down the road or something like that. Because genuinely. You go probably max about 10 miles per hour. So basically we were just chilling in the pool and I noticed at the bottom of the pool there was something like, I don't know, like squishy and shit. And then um, next thing we know, we swim to the bottom of the pool, it was a shit, someone had shit in the pool and we told the hotel staff and then the hotel staff have pinned it on this autistic kid and then the fucking family's like going crazy or whatever. And the next thing you know, the fucking family's getting kicked out like of the hotel. I feel really bad, but I didn't know any of that shit was gonna happen. No, fuck you. Because <laughs> I'm shit in the pool, Joe. What are your thoughts on this? It was me. <laughs> so this is actually an insane discovery. We're about to fucking drink some at Captain Morgan's. We've not poured any water in it, we swear to God. You see that in the middle? It's fucking froze. Alcohol doesn't freeze. I know it's dropped down to 35%, but even still, alcohol shouldn't freeze. That's a slushy. That is insane. Water and fuck up our alcohol. Bro, what the fuck? So Joe claims he used to get the lighter hot as fuck and then put it on himself to brand himself. This is getting himself prepared for the branding video. Right, chill out, that's my lighter boss. That'll be hot enough Ready. to burn yourself, go on. The bro's not even bothered. In it. Is it even hot? Feel it. Feel it. Yeah, that's hot. Has it done anything now? Oh, good, no. oh yeah. god damn! Okay, he, Joe might actually be fine for the branding video. This is by far the coolest place we've eaten in yet. I don't know what the food's like yet. It's called Malaysia, but just the layout. Everything looks sick. This other thing looks pretty awesome. I'll give you a review after this is done. Oh, we got We're going to the water park today, which I sadly won't be able to film any of. 
but keep watching the videos and one day I'll be able to get a GoPro and film. I'll try and roll some footage of the part we're going to. come back from the water park. If you want something that's worth your fucking money, go to, Joe, what was the name of the water park? Aqua Dream Water Park in Marmaris. That is worth your money. There's like no queues for the slides or anything. Go down the slides head first, whatever the fuck you want. They don't care. Backwards, Backwards head first. We were doing all that crazy shit. Probably got whiplash or whatever, but that is, that is what's worth your fucking money. You definitely want to go there. And you know what? Next time I come here, you know what, hopefully I'll be bald and hopefully I'll have some GoPros and film some shit. I'm sad I couldn't get any footage of that. I'll try and roll some footage of what the park looks like, but here's why lighting is the biggest lie of all time. So check Joe right- No, 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 Joe, Joe, come in. <laughs> Yo, you're so bad on camera. <laughs> so check fucking Larry the Lobster over here. Look, check it. Now, now walk into that light. Changes his appearance. Now, he looks dark. <laughs> it don't really work with you at the minute, actually. I can't lie. No, no, no. But if you look at me in the mirror, I look like I'm about to rob you, bro. But like, <laughs> there's no way I can leave that in. But like, I look really dark. Do I look dark on camera or not really? Yeah. Bro, I look like really dark. In reality, I'm red as fuck. But like, as soon as I come out here, you can see my real colour. This is why you don't want to believe lighting, guys. Because lighting, lighting can change everything. I I'm not really that dark. This is how bro be sleeping 24-7. <laughs> Before we go on and forget wait, to do wait, it, wait, Joe's wait. gonna show us how to properly enter a pool. So I've heard if you have sunburn, the best way to fix it is a proper dive. Go on then, show it. My uncle is a fucking saviour. So basically, sigma. he's a sigma, he's a sigma. So, we thought we had an extra day tomorrow. Turns out we fucking don't. We go tonight at like two in the morning and we thought like Friday was our last day. I know we thought Thursday, tomorrow was our last day. We went early hours Friday. It's a good fucking job. My uncle called me and made sure it wasn't because Joe was like, yeah, it's all good. We got till fucking Thursday, but no, we do not. So um, yeah, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna go crazy tonight, I guess. And we'll show you. We're gonna spend all our fucking money and show you how it goes. Even though we got no boarding passes or anything, hey, you're not gonna stop us eating good food. Red wine, fucking mezze, everything. You know how it is. Guys, sea bone, steak on, no boarding passes, not there in the world. We got here at 10 and ordered our whole meal at like two minutes past. Speed on that motherfucker. Now that is what you call a motherfucking steak, am I right? Am I right? So we're going, we're finally fucking going. It doesn't feel real, as I say, we thought we had an extra day. Um, the hotel review, we, we cannot say a bad word about the staff. You see a load of reviews online, even the staff. They, they say the staff used to steal or whatever, but we've literally had no fucking bad experience with the staff at all. But yeah, it's really bit of fucking, it's, it's bit of sweet leaving, like, I can't lie. It's really sad, I don't wanna go. I'm not fucking leaving! But um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, genuinely, if you want a cheap holiday, I'd come here. The only downside is people are noisy or whatever all night, and there's, uh, you have to pay extra for the aircon. But with how cheap it is, just pay for the fucking aircon. You know what I mean? It's like I've I've got no bad words to say about this place. So yeah, I hope you fucking enjoyed this. I really hope you've enjoyed this, and um, yeah, I would come here again.